Today we're on the Annie. This is a 2017 Lagoon 450. It's located in Fort Lauderdale. So this boat was ordered new from Lagoon. It spent the majority of its life doing very short day sails between Cancun and Isla Mujeres. So you can see the interior is in perfect condition. Upholstery is in great shape. So the interior of the boat was virtually never used. We've just done a big price reduction on it and really ready to sell this boat. So keep watching the rest of this video. I'll take you through the boat. I'll point out some of the unique features of the design. We'll have a look at the engines, the sails, the helm position, the electronics, and a very detailed walk through the interior. And I'll show you some of the technical aspects of Annie, this Lagoon 450. In the salon, this table is very versatile. So this table can come out. There's tapered uh, legs here that go into these fittings in the deck. So this table is interchangeable with the one in the cockpit, or both these tables can come out. Uh, and I'm going to show you uh, a little bit later where the table can be stored in the roof of the cockpit. And there's also an option for a smaller table. Some people prefer to have the smaller table, which is about this size and about this size. So it's like a cafe style table, or you can put it down on a set of shorter legs where you have a coffee table height. And if you're like most people and not dining in the salon all the time, you might like having that table for occasional use and doing most of your dining in the cockpit when you're in a beautiful anchorage. And the upholstery, this is a uh, leatherette. It's in uh, superb condition. There's no signs of wear or damage. There's LED lights throughout, so these are cool. They don't get hot and they use very little power. Uh, lots of storage around, so there's storage underneath these uh, seats here. There's an air conditioning unit over there that's here for the salon where you have the two uh, vents. Over here is the chart table. The chart table faces forward. People often have a radar display or chart plotter here. This boat currently has a set of B&G electronics, but with the B&Gs you have a Wi-Fi connection. So if you have an iPad or a mobile device, you can download the B&G software on that and place it here without having the additional expense of a larger uh, chart plotter radar display. You got a wireless control here for the uh, VHF, this can be brought up to the helm. There's a uh, docking station for it up there. You've got a built-in VHF here. This is a fusion stereo system. We have a set of speakers here in the salon, another set in the cockpit. And you got controls here for the air conditioning, a nice concealed um, table uh, recess to put pens and books and manuals and cruising guides there. So Lagoon did the 450 in two different uh, configurations. The old galley arrangement used to come out like this and go like that. So you had an L shape. Now you have this U shape. A lot of people prefer this because it gives you more counter space. You've got a three burner propane stove, an oven, loads of cabinet space. You can see you've got two uh, large sinks. This is a manual faucet, so it's possible to get fresh or salt water uh, out of that for washing dishes. Um, a lot of cruisers like that. It's kind of a backup in case the fresh water pump goes down and you still need to access fresh water out of the water tank. There's a cabinet here for a uh, microwave if you want to put one in there. Otherwise, it's storage space. These are all nicely finished cabinets. Easy to access. It's nice, good quality latches on them that hold them open. You have soft closing uh, drawers. And even here on the back side, there's another cabinet that actually goes back this far. A lot of storage for like pots and pans. Um, these are Corian countertops. You can see they're still very shiny and excellent condition. But this is a great, uh, great configuration. Nice thing to hold on to as you're walking around through the boat. Storage space is always critical. Lagoon's done a very clever job by adding these uh, recessed storage spots in the salon floor. Great place to store. Um, wine or things that maybe you're not accessing all the time. Uh, I think it's a very nice feature. All right, Annie was built to uh, US specs by the Lagoon factory. So you can see you have 110 volt, uh, 60 hertz outlets throughout. Uh, something that a lot of people don't know is Lagoon builds their boats with the same wiring system in it, whether it's a 220 or 110 volt system. 
So what that means is it doesn't matter whether you buy a boat that's here in the States and you want to use it in Europe or you buy a boat in Europe and you want to use it here in the States, the wiring gauge throughout the boat is the same from the factory. What does change is the components and obviously the way the outlets are, are uh, set up. So these are US, but the shore power system on this is, it's a US shore power connection, but the battery chargers and the air conditioning will work on dual frequency, dual voltage. What does that mean? It means that the boat will work on 220 volts, 50 hertz, or 110 volts, 60 hertz. This is a spot that normally there's a lift in here for a television, if you want that. This boat was ordered without that option, so there's recesses in here for wine bottle or some sort of bottle storage. Here's the control panel. Very simple, you got your 110 volt side here with outlets, battery charger, water heater. This is a 12 volt side. The control here for the generator, it's a remote start. And this is the salt water or fresh water deck wash down. There's a valve to switch between fresh and salt water. You got a master volt battery charger here and both legs of your 110 volt power coming into the boat. There's a additional fridge on this side. There's also one in the uh, alley just below the counter. And once again, nicely finished and fitted out drawers that are all soft close. We're down in the starboard owner's cabin. This is the largest cabin on the boat. So we've got a nice island uh, berth here. By island, that means you can get on and off of either side of the boat. It's easy to, to make the bed, you've got good access there. There's some storage underneath here. Good drawers, cabinets, both spots. There's an air conditioning control with a vent here and another one there. Next to the berth, you've got LED reading lights, a fan, opening hatch there, opening hatch here an opaque window on the side. Late model lagoons have these uh, opaque windows so you can get light transmission. It just rained outside, so it's not really very clear right now, but it makes the cabin feel very light and airy, uh, particularly uh, during the day when you have outside light coming in. And because of this finish, it gives you privacy inside the cabin, even with the windows open and the blinds pulled back. Here you can see the hatch I was talking about with the screen on it. And there's also a reflective backing on the other side of it to keep it uh, cool and keep the sunlight out uh, if you prefer. It's a nice airy feel. There's plenty of space. There's loads of storage in this cabin. There's also some storage underneath this, uh, this settee here. These are accesses to some of the electrical controls. It's a set of breakers in here for 110 volt and the winch for the main halyard. Lots of nice cabinet space to store books and small uh, personal items, shelving. There's this pocket door, gives you total privacy in the cabin. Uh, so if you wanna watch a, a movie, sometimes people put a television here mounted on a bracket. Um, you've got some storage here. There's an escape hatch where you can uh, put some items there that maybe you don't access all the time. And then they're concealed by the door. Uh, I've seen women store their shoes in there in, uh, in racks in that space. You've got a nice vanity table here and there's a place to store items. You've got a 12 or a USB outlet, dual USB outlet and 110 volt. Nice reading light, fan. This is a wall organizer. You can put small items there, maybe a pair of sailing gloves or cell phone. There's lots of uh, hanging space. And in this particular cabinet, this is a, a spot where people will typically install a washer dryer. So the space coming down that door is actually wide enough to fit that unit through there. And normally it gets placed here. Storage is always important. There's three shelves here of storage, drawers, more cabinets, three cabinets along here. And then into the head, we're in the starboard forward head. This is the head that's in front of the master cabin I just showed you. I wanted to point out the teak flooring. Uh, this is an upgraded option from Lagoon, and I think it's very, very nice uh, where normally you would just have non-skid fiberglass. You've got a very nice vanity. Loads of space, got a rack here, you can put some items. Nice Corian countertop, recessed sink, 
nice uh, updated hardware. Got cabinets all around here in the uh, in the head area. A bit nice built-in shelving. Once again, nicely finished inside. Lots and lots of storage. And then something that's very important, a separate shower. So you're not showering in the head. Uh, you can't see there's a small AC vent here. So if you take a shower in here and it gets hot, you've got a lot of uh, moisture. That small AC vent circulates enough air here for it to pull the moisture out of this, this head and shower area very, very quickly. You've got manual flush uh, heads. These flush with seawater. And you've got a very nice shower wand with a mixer and control and the shower drains underneath this floor pan and it has an automatic uh, float switch and also a manual button to pump it out. This is the port side forward cabin. This is the smallest cabin on the boat. Uh, you can see the berth is kind of a Pullman side uh, configuration where it's off to the side here. You still have an access on the side. There's some shelves here. You've got LED reading lights at the head of the bed, separate AC control, USB outlets, power outlets, some cabinets on the side for a hanging locker, more storage there with shelves and a drawer underneath the berth. On the 450, one of the nicest features about this is every cabin, even this smallest one, has its own uh, head and shower with a separate shower compartment, so it's considered a dry head. So looking aft from this forward cabin, there's a lot of shelving and storage space here. And this is a nice feature. It's a small hamper, so uh, you can put your clothes that you've worn uh, there. Um, and this is the head and shower. You've got the teak flooring upgrade, Corian counters, uh, and some nice uh, vanity and cabinet storage space, manual flush, uh, saltwater flush heads, and an overhead hatch. We are in the port side aft cabin. This is the second largest cabin in this three cabin owner's layout. The berth is the same size as the one on the owner's side. This is essentially a, a queen, if you will. It's an island berth, so you have access on both sides. LED reading lights, AC, USB chargers, power outlets, nice hanging locker here for foul weather gear, jackets, or evening gowns. Um, nice recessed lighting throughout the boat. I didn't point this out earlier, but this lighting is uh, throughout the Lagoon 450s in this balance. And I think the design group, NADA, did a great job with um, adding that, and I think it really um, updates the boat. We've got a little bit of storage space and a cabinet here. There is a escape hatch and storage space there. And this is quite a long hallway coming into, uh, into this cabin. Um, so it makes the room feel like it has a lot of space. So let me show you the head. We're in the port side, aft, head and shower. Separate shower compartment, toilet there, Corian countertops, vanity, a lot of storage in it, um, overhead hatch, shower, and automatic uh, flush drain, and the teak uh, flooring upgrade. So by the time you see this video, Annie will have had a recent price reduction, very substantial, uh, which really underscores its value in the market. It's located in Fort Lauderdale. It's in really good condition. The boat is super clean. So you can see there's very little evidence of, uh, of use or wear on the boat. Jill coat's in great shape. Um, I think the Annie represents in the Lagoon 450 three cabin owner's version layout, a great value. So if you have any questions or would like to come see this boat in Fort Lauderdale, please let me know. I'm Staley Weidman with the Catamaran Company in Fort Lauderdale.